Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, I'm going to be checking out a map called GM Catacombs, which was actually recommended to me by the creator. Now, this is going to be a little bit different in that this map, from what I understand, is a little bit more interactive than some of the other maps that I've played. There's going to be keys to find and doors to unlock and secrets to find. And I was actually warned by the creator that some of it might not actually work so well in VR, but recommended that I do try it in VR first in order to get the most immersive experience. Can I open this? Doesn't seem so. Seems that, as usual for me, there's nowhere for me to go but down. Alright, well let's go ahead and spawn ourselves a flashlight and we'll get a move on. Now, as you might expect, I believe this map is based on the Paris Catacombs. Of course, that's the tunnel network that runs under the city of Paris. Here, we're just kind of on a surface level. And this seems like something that can potentially be broken open. Yeah, there we go. Let's just give that a good boop with the flashlight. Come on. We can get you down farther. Ugh. Let's see what's in here. As I've mentioned before, VR implementation of things like grabbing is a little bit wonky in Gary's Mod. Oh, it looks like this isn't actually supposed to go this way. Like the wall's been sort of broken down. Get out of my way. You don't look like you're impeding me, but you are. Uh, I'm like Andy Dufresne. Oh, there's actually a lot down here. I can tell this is going to be a wonderfully detailed map. I'm not even a minute in and we've already found ourselves a little bit of a secret. I'm on my knees right now. It's kind of hard to maneuver myself. Uh, is there anything over here for us to see? Nope, I've just gone and got myself stuck in a sewer. 30 seconds of gameplay, and already I'm stuck. Okay. Let me stand up and try to work out what the jump button is. This time, at least, Mr. Dufresne's escape tunnel didn't get him quite as far as he wanted. Am I going to be able to make that leap? <clears throat> there we go. That was a little bit easier than expected. Okay, let's continue on. Now I'm getting that bug again where I can't turn off this light. I don't know if I've ever called attention to that. So, there is an inbuilt light that can project out of your hand, but I prefer to use this uh, modded model because it makes things more immersive. But sometimes I get a bug where it doesn't turn off correctly. Look at this. From the moldy old bricks with the paint peeling off of them to the water running through the sewer and the sound echoing down the corridor while I can also hear the sounds of water dripping from above. We got the flickering light on the side that partially dims the room. This is what it's all about. It's all about the atmosphere, about making you feel like you're there, like it's a breathing environment, even if there's no one here to populate it. And as I explore, the question I'm sure I'm going to be asking a lot is, I wonder if that's what the actual catacombs are like. There's an old psych hospital that I frequently explore. And something that's kind of cool about it is that it's developed a whole culture around it by the people who explore it. And from what I understand, the same is true of the Paris catacombs. There's actually a whole subculture of people who go down and explore those tunnels. Do you hear that? It could just be the way that the water is coming through my, my headphones, but I kind of, it, it gets a lot darker here and it kind of seems like I can, I can, I can swear I can hear voices echoing down the hall. But it's very faint. It's in such a way that I can barely tell 
if it's just the water or not. Unfortunately, I can't read French. I'll be checking that out next, but... What is with this tunnel? Okay, it gets a little bit brighter over here. This is really reminding me of uh, a certain level of uh, infra right now. Oh, wow, look at this. This place is huge. And as I round this corner, I can hear... Yeah, it's not just the same looping water sound. I can actually hear the crashing as it falls all that distance. That is so cool. I can tell this map is going to be quite extensive. Alright, um, I'm going to back up a little bit. I, I always try to take things in such a way where... I can hopefully try and see everything in order without having to go back and repeat a lot of areas, if possible. Okay, this is clearly a door into the older parts of the tunnel, but... I feel... I, it sounds like the voices are coming from down there, if that is indeed what I'm hearing. It could just be the way the water crashing is echoing off of these walls. It could just be acoustics, but if that's true, that's some incredible attention to detail. I kind of think it's voices. I assume that means, like, not open to the public or something. Uh, I guess I'm going down here. Uh, you know, I neglected to ask the creator... If this is the kind of place where I might have need of a safety Glock. This is such a cool thing, the... merging of the new and the old. And how it almost seems like... the old is growing around the new and... not the new being built around the old. That's blood. That is blood down there, and what looks like bones? Yes, there's a skeleton hanging from a rope. Is that a custom model? Okay, okay, I'll, sa I'll, I'll save that hole for later. Save you for later. Oh, look at this. There's like designs etched into this arch. What is this? Is this the kind of thing that actually exists in the Paris Catacombs? Whenever I've seen it on, like, TV or something, all they ever show is just these narrow tunnels with skulls built into the walls, but I've never seen anything like this. Though, from what I understand, there is quite a lot of variety. Okay. Very narrow. Very claustrophobic. Very no safety Glock. I actually feel like I don't have room to turn around. That's a burning torch. And it looks like someone broke through this wall here. No, I haven't tried yet. Can I open these doors? Hang on. Doesn't seem like it, but remember, the creator did say that there are doors that can be opened using keys and such. So I suppose we'll find out which ones those are. Do structures like this really exist in the tunnels? This seems huge. Those are skulls. We're in the lair of the Bone Brigade now. OK. 
Okay, so Operation Take This Slow has officially gone out the window. And who's keeping that fire burning? We just keep going deeper and deeper with not much way of heading back up. Alright, let's climb down this ladder that looks like a little bit steep to just jump down. Oops. It's getting darker and darker. And we're getting deeper and deeper. And the sounds are getting more and more ominous. This can't exist under the... <laughs> I, I saw the movement of the fire, and I thought something was... <sighs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, there has to be some way to... Yes, that looks like a keyhole. And Sora's nowhere in sight, so we're gonna have to look for a key ourselves. Uh, there's a keyhole on each of these. I wonder if they lead to the same room, or... Or if they're two different things requiring two different keys. We have a few different doorways we can take. Oh, look at this. I feel like Indiana Jones discovering some ancient temple. This map is, you know, it's creepy, but it's also really cool. I really feel like, um, I really feel like I'm exploring here because so much of what exploring is, is just going, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. It's just constantly being pulled in different directions and thinking, Oh man, uh, after a while you just lose track of all the places you've been and all the places you want to go. Okay, I don't have any way of interacting with that right now. I'm doing a whole lot of scaring myself. Alright, let's take this systematically. There's still that door over there, and this door right here. A ladder going up. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not looking to start going up again. But... Come on. Come on. Come on! Uh, I don't think I can open it. Nowhere to go but this way, since everything else is a trap door that won't let me leave. That's a full skeleton right there. I can't imagine it's common in the Paris Catacombs to discover full skeletons, is it? And certainly even less common to discover blood. I have to try once again to open a door. No. See, the thing is, some maps have custom doors that... Oh, it's the barrel. Some maps have custom doors that can still be opened, but they don't have, uh, they don't have doorknobs, so I still kind of have to check. Ugh. I'm just being pulled in a whole different direction. I saw a door with a keyhole back there. Oh. I think I'm discovering a new phobia. Rounded corners. Because you can't kind of slice the pie like you would with, like you would with angled ones. You start coming around the corner, and there's no moment where you can see everything. You just have to gradually take it. Okay, the Bone Brigade is charging a toll to go this way. Can't go this way. But here's another ladder. Let me guess, another trap door? And pikes for anyone unfortunate enough to fall the wrong way. What are you, what are you doing, controller? Stop that. Stop that. Ah, uh. oh, we can actually get out this way. Why is it that every time I try to look down a corridor and think, right over here, be right back, that ends up being the wrong choice. It ends up taking me somewhere bad. I 
I have to once again ask, are there really structures like this in the Paris underground? Sorry if I'm not talking very much, but this is very, very creepy and tense. It's also claustrophobic and just so dark. Look at that, I lower my light and it's completely pitch black. Oh, what is this? Things like this always make me wonder, what would something like this have even been used for? I just can't imagine people walking around in spaces like this going about their business. I don't particularly want to jump down there at this very moment. I have so much to explore, but I just keep finding so many new things. I have to say, this is one of, definitely one of the creepiest maps that I've played. And I think a big part of that is how it's not afraid to be so cramped. It's all very claustrophobic and something about the way the walls are done. It makes me feel like I'm intruding on something really, really old and... Oh, it's hard to put to words. See, in a space like this, I'm actually, like, kind of clutching my shoulders together. I'm moving them inward. I don't feel like I can turn around. I don't feel like I have room to turn around, but trust me, I am very aware of the darkness behind me. Oh, four-way intersection in the dark, my favorite. Well, there's a big room there. And a shovel there. Maybe so I can bury myself. Think about this. Whenever you see images of the Paris catacombs, think about the skulls that line the walls and understand there's one skull per person. Think about what you perceive as life. Think about everything that you are and realize that all of that equals one person. And now look at these walls of skulls. I just heard something that I don't think was me. I might have just been stepping on a can, but I could have sworn I just heard like a groan or a grunt. Can I open this? No, I didn't think so. There's another one of those trap doors, but as we established, I can't open them from underneath. See, what is this? It's like, it's almost like a residential house. I mean, certainly old style, but it's just a house underground. Can I get up there? What about over here? This tunnel network is just so extensive. There's no way I could even come close to finding my way back if I tried. Everywhere I go, I just see something new and interesting. A whole new direction I'm being pulled in. And yet... Okay, it looks like the interior of this place has collapsed. So there's no getting in here. That's an electric light, so we must be at least somewhat close to the surface, right? I mean, higher up than we were before. We did climb up a fairly large ladder. I look down these tunnels and there's just nothing on the edge of my light. That's how far it goes. Uh, bit of an obstruction here, but I bet I can crouch through it. <clears throat> okay. Still no end in sight. Everywhere I go, everywhere I look, 
There's multiple directions I can take, but I'm on the other side of that door now. I think that's the door where I was trying to get through earlier. Man, I do not like windows down here. Now, what is this? This is... Is this where I entered, actually? Whoops. Kind of clipping through the ceiling there. Uh, let me through. No, this is not where I entered this area. Not even close. Not by a long shot. I gotta stop kidding myself. I don't think I'll be establishing a sense of direction anytime soon. Oh. I was kind of hopeful for a second that maybe that was daylight. What is on the other side of this door? You heard that rattling, right? Is there a skeleton on the other side of this door, unburdened by a lack of muscles and tendons? Uh, I was opening. I was going to knock on the door, hoping for the kindness of a stranger, but maybe I'll pass. Oh, great! And there's rats. That's always good. Rats are always good. Nothing. Nothing can go wrong with rats, especially when you're in a dark, cramped underground space. I'm getting the feeling that there's bars here for a reason. I'm going to go back this way and climb down that ladder and see what I can see. I wonder what what does that staircase lead to? I wonder if that maybe like leads into just the basement of some old house or something. See, that's the thing. With a tunnel network as extensive as the Paris catacombs are, I feel like there's no way they can possibly know every single exit, can they? There's got to be so many different things with all the old construction that exists in that city. There's got to be... Hi. This doesn't look like someone that would have been buried down here. This looks like someone that got lost down here. And decided that drinking bleach was a better way to go than dying of dehydration. It's the Project Zomboid way. So I'm going to sound like a broken record, but what is this? But look, it's... It's these ornate old structures. These halls of bodies and bones. But all of it just merges right onto this new construction. This clean cut into poured concrete, but with pipes running through it, but there's still those there's still those designs running along the ceiling. I want to go back the other way, but I'm going to take a quick look down this way first. It's that old need to dispose of so many dead bodies clashing with the... This goes down even further. Clashing with the... with the industrial needs of the new world. Worlds certainly do collide down here. What is that? This looks like something I can interact with. If I go through here, there's going to be no going back. Well, unless there's another one of those things on this side. Okay, let's try it. Come on. No. Stop teleporting me into the wall. And also, it would be much appreciated if you would stop... <clears throat> okay, so we can get back in that way. It's just a little bit difficult to do left-handed. But what kind of structure could this be? And what's over here? Uh, someone who may have gotten trapped? I wouldn't assume that there's another one of these things on this side. Remember, the, uh, the creator did tell me that there are... Traps on this map! Run, 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 run! Ugh! 
And I'm dead. Well, I suppose I had to open that door. Okay, I've just respawned in a different place from where I started. Here we see an alleyway entrance, which uh, seems like a little bit of a tripping hazard to say the least. Ah, this is this place. Okay, maybe I can find my way back to where I was before and see some of the stuff I was looking to get back to. Now this guy... See, some of these skeletons, these aren't the skeletons of people who were buried here. These are the skeletons of people who got lost. And look at this one. So close. So close to a ladder to the exit. But trapped behind iron bars. Totally immovable. Now that's scary. Now what did I do before? I crouched over this. Yes, I crouched through this area, but maybe I could have gone around the other way. What is that down there? And for that matter, what is that sound? Do you hear that? It sounds like, it almost sounds like rushing water or something. I'll tell you, I don't like how it's getting louder as I run down this dark hallway. But there's still structures down here. Oh my. It's getting louder as I progress, and there's a ladder! Uh... Okay, let's climb this. Come on, come on, climb it. Climb it, why can't I climb it? Okay, I've just broken those boards. This ladder not climbable for some... Oh, now it is. Yeah, this is just how I get around now. Out of my way. This is the waterfall from before. We're back up to sewer level. Which, normally, that's the very bottom, but... Here, it's kind of the tip-top. So, what's down this way? Well, one bricked up door, but also a padlock. Can we perhaps shoot it? No, this isn't the kind of thing I can shoot. But it does look like the kind of thing I can perhaps find a key for. Thing is, this place is so huge and I haven't found anything that I would recognize as a key yet. I think at this moment I have no choice but to go back down and look at places that are familiar. I can't help but notice there's a light all the way down that hallway. And there's another hole that's been busted through the wall. And to reveal even more bodies. I'm not sure what the actual number of bodies that are estimated to be buried in the Paris Catacombs is. But I believe it's a lot, like something ridiculous. And here... Uh, come on, let me through. I had to really crouch down far to get through there. Yeah, we're back in sewer level. In fact, I think I looked at this doorway before. Alright, I'm starting to get an idea of the layout, I think. I just need to look a little bit farther. Just need to look a little bit harder. Come on, let me through. I have to crouch my head down so far in order to get through that gap. Now, what am I looking for? I need to get back this way. And... No. No. I think I'm turned around. Okay, no, I had to come through here. Right, and I had to crouch through this rubble. Guys, I am sweating so much. I don't know if you can hear it, but we're also being pounded by a nor'easter right now. So there's rain pattering on the window to my room. Now, did I go left or right before? Left or right? I think I came this way. Yeah, I remember this, but did I go back? Did I go down the ladder? No, I don't think I went down the ladder. I have to go this way. 
No. No, that's just a... No. Wait. Hang on. I'm starting to understand why after being trapped down here for a while, you might just drink the bleach. I think I have to... I think I maybe do have to climb down that ladder. I can't think of anything else to do. Because I don't think I climbed back across that rubble. Yes, yes, I remember you. You're the... I remember you, Bleach Boy. Oh, it's like Mount Everest. I'm starting to use bodies to identify my location. Whoops, just kind of saw through the map for a little bit. Luckily, I didn't get any useful information from that. Didn't get any spoilers, but this... This is where I wanted to come back to. Now, if I go that way, I have to act fast in order to get around... Oh, that's a key. That's a key, but the key to what? And the question is, if I die... Come on, I can't pick it up. Oh, I can't pick it up. But in the meantime, we've still got things to see. This is the melding of the new and old. I want to see... Where the new takes me. Okay, so there's a ladder on that side. Does it go up or down? Very much down. Oh, back here. Wait, that's the same ladder from before? That's open now? That... That was a closed door before, I could have sworn. I... Maybe that wasn't actually a closed trap door up there. Maybe if I had just turned around, I would have seen this. Okay, that is such a useful shortcut. Come on, stop doing this. Stop doing this. Alright, so that means that what I have to do... Is go this way. I bet one of those keys will open one of these doors. But let's have a look down here. Actually, what I could try to do is go into the Steam VR settings and set my... I could go into the Steam VR settings and set my height to be a little bit lower, and then maybe I would be able to pick up that key. But what is... That's not normal. That is certainly... Not normal. What's that noise? What is that noise? What I just did was probably not wise, but as we've established in previous videos, I'm a white person in a horror movie. It's a meat grinder. What is this doing here? What is its purpose? It's like some kind of cannibal larder. I feel like I've walked into something I shouldn't have. Now that's the thing, is like I said, there is such an extensive network of tunnels underneath Paris. There's no way they can keep track of what's open and what isn't, right? And who goes down there? I mean... What kind of things could you do down there and have no one know? Uh, I'm gonna go back to where I saw that key and I'm gonna try a little trick to lower my height and see which of these three doors it unlocks. Hopefully it unlocks one of them. Now I've used the Steam VR settings to make my floor a little bit lower and now I can pick up the key. Now, that's a little bit difficult because it does seem to be a physics object and not something that would kind of just disappear into my inventory as I hoped. But actually, because it's a small object, it's not wanting to fall out of my hand like some other objects. So this might actually be a little bit better suited to VR than I at first thought. Now let's head back down to those doors and see which one it unlocks. I don't know if they're interchangeable or if they're actually... No. 
No, come on. No, no, come on. Oh, come on. Will that key still be there when I come back? I hope so. Oh, I'm back up by the evil door. Okay, let's try and get back down there. Stop with the bone rattling. I don't want to be dealing with the bone brigade. I can't fight Skeletrex. He's huge. He's 15 feet tall and he has bones the size of tree trunks. There is that key. I really hope this room isn't triggered to activate when I'm holding the key. I'm actually not sure why it triggered because I'd been through there a couple of times. Let's find out. What do you open? Not you. Not you. Maybe that other door? Ah, oh, remember when I said it's really hard to hold things in Gmod VR? Alright, where'd you go? I can't find this key anywhere. Where did it go? It should stand out a lot, which leads me to believe that it just kind of disappeared into the ground. What happened? Wait, okay, there it is right there. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Oh my god, just let me pick it up. Thank you. Okay, that doesn't work. So I have to take you over to that other door. No. It's still not working, so what am I meant to do then? Uh, maybe this function just doesn't work in VR, or maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's some other door that I have to find. But I don't know if I found any other locks. Okay, back over here. And I know there's some things here that we haven't seen. We didn't go down all these hallways. For example, this is new. This is very new. And it's a burial site as well. This seems like it may be the connection possibly to the basement of an old church. Huh. It's like they're all lined up in the fetal position. All these stairs go up. Up is good, right? Oh no, sadly not. I think this might just be another spawn point. Yeah, that looks like the surface right there. I'm willing to bet this is a church. But I'm not looking for a church. I'm looking to go back down and figure out where this key goes, if nothing else, before I finish this. Uh, somehow this place is even creepier going back the other way. It's these walls of the dead that ends in... what looks like just some kind of shoot straight to the fiery underworld. Actually, I kind of wish there was more fire. There'd be a little bit more light. There's just something about these already claustrophobic hallways being made even more claustrophobic uh, by the mounds of debris piled up in them. And from this angle, it looks like that skeleton's mouth is open in an eternal scream. This guy looks like he just gave up at this point. I must once again reiterate, this is by far one of the most unnerving and truly scary maps that I've played that wasn't a straight-up horror map. Because of how easy it is to get lost and how dark and claustrophobic and cramped it is. And how you're surrounded... Something that I think is an incredible, incredible ambient touch is how you find the bones of people who have been doing the same thing you did, but didn't make it. Oh my... 
Oh my. Oh, I do not like heights at the best of times, but in VR, in VR, it's... Ow. Oh, that was the worst thing you could have done to me. Well, the key's down there now. All right, everyone, here's the deal. I was originally going to come back and find all the keys and such later outside of VR in a different video. However, I've been thinking about it, and I think this would actually make a pretty good Halloween special. This map is actually very, very creepy. I enjoy it a lot, especially in VR. But then I thought, well, I can't end a Halloween special on a cliffhanger. I can't end it on a next time on. So we're going back in. I'm going to try and finish this all in this video, and try to get at least, if nothing else, at least one of those locked doors to open. And you know, after having a day or two to think about it... Well, I see having a day or two to think about it hasn't made it any less creepy to look down these corridors of ambient music echoing down through the darkness. But what I was going to say is, I think I have enough of a mental picture of this place that I can at least make an effort to try and get more of this done. I'm not totally lost. I don't feel totally clueless as to where I need to be going. Which isn't to say I have much of an idea of the tunnel layouts themselves, just that there are enough landmarks that I really think I can... Oh, sorry. I was kind of expecting to have come back and crossed the ash threshold, but... In reality, that's not the case at all. I'm actually... I'm actually getting very unnerved right off the bat. It's the claustrophobic nature of this map that I think does it for me. You don't really see this often in Gary's mod maps, but the corridors are so dark and so tight. I mentioned this before, but when I'm walking through these tunnels, I actually feel like I don't have room to turn around. Not so much these tunnels specifically, but... Those ones, I think they're a little bit further down with the white walls. Okay, so I don't need to be coming through here. What I need to find... What I need to find is that ladder that goes down. And in order to do that, I think I had to crouch through that tunnel we saw up above with the with the debris. The one that had partially collapsed. Now, I really, I really don't like doing this in VR. I don't have the best of knees. Ah, you might have been able to just hear one pop. Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is something I always hate in VR. It's coming to a crossroads. I can only look in one direction at a time as I round that corner. Okay. So this is the area with the creepy rat noises. Which means that over here... I <laughs> thought that was a person. I thought that boiler was a person for a second. Uh. If at any point we observe a figure in this map, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. Now, okay, so this is what we need to do. Now, we remember, if we take too long in here, the boulders will fall and wash us away. So what we have to do, in fact, depending on the light levels, I might actually put my flashlight away. Oh, it doesn't look like I really can. It's kind of dark. But we got to hold these things down, run through before these gates close... And I've got to do the same thing on the other side before the boulders fall. Now I've got to find exactly the right way to do this. It's a little bit difficult. I've got to be fast. In we go, in we go, in we go, come on! I had to actually crouch. That was actually kind of cool. I wonder if the boulders will still fall. Hmm. It looks like somebody else didn't make it much farther than me, though. Oh, 
Ah, oh, yes, this is definitely new. Okay, now I can use the flashlight to break down boards. At least I think I can. Alright, tack light. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit cheesy, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, back to flashlight. It just occurred to me, I haven't even had a chance to fire my safety Glock yet. I think I saw this from above. Yes, I did see this from above earlier. Before we were up there. Oops, oh, stop. Why is my controller doing this? I think I might be too close to the edge of my play area. I know the batteries aren't running out because I just charged them last night to full. Now let's push through here. Yeah, I actually do have limited ability to pick stuff like this up. But it's a little bit awkward because I think you have to actually reach for the center of the prop, which is why in early VR exploration videos, I was actually kind of led to believe that you couldn't pick things up. Looks like somebody decided to have a last meal before the rats carried most of them off. Uh. Windows that do anything but look outside have always unnerved me. I've always hated interior windows, especially, especially when they're underground and just see into other areas of basement. Do you see what I mean? Do you see why I'm so hesitant to go into these spaces? Look how cramped this is. As I make my way down these corridors, I actually feel compelled to pull my shoulders closer together. Just got scared by some barrels. Now from here, I think from here is where I need to figure something out. I think these are the paths least explored by me. I can't remember if I've seen this place before. Whole lot of bones here. I hope I don't get ambushed by the bone brigade. This doesn't look very familiar. Then again, it all looks pretty samey, which, you know, in the hands of the right creator, can be wielded to great effect in a horror map. And, you know, I'm not going to turn around because I feel like I can't turn around, but in situations like this, I always have to be aware of the fact that I'm coming down these narrow corridors, I'm shining my light ahead to see, just knowing that behind me is all black. That thought terrifies me. Okay, there's another boarded path. I certainly have to check that. This is bricked off. I feel like I'm making my way to something. But what is all this? Where does this... Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm starting to put together a picture of this place. But what I need to do is break these boards down. All right. This is not the time for my controller to be doing this. Hang on. Uh, that's blood. Have we seen blood before? I don't remember. Perfect map for VR. Oh, what? This just brought me back to here. That can't be right. Every time I think I found some new area, some place I hadn't previously accessed, it just ends up leading me in very short order back to something that I have already seen. But that's really strange. I only know the location of one key. Alright, didn't find anything in the church. I guess let's just try to make our way through here. 
Let's see where we end up. I gotta crouch real low. Yes, I recognize that skeleton. We, and I recognize that one, too. Uh, it's so hard to tell where I have and haven't been before. One of these days, I really have to get around to installing one of those... glow stick mods you guys have been telling me about. Now this, I know I haven't seen before. This is... Oh, there was the sound of a fly buzzing. Um, you stay right there. What's over here? There's like a... Some kind of lever? That looks like that opens something. How do I get around to there? Uh, imagine you're walking down this corridor and you're hit with that smell knowing what you're probably gonna find but knowing you have m not much choice but to push on. Yes, right here. Yep, this is... This is the Chasm of Death. I made it! Now how am I getting back? Oh, this map really does make you feel like Indiana Jones. However, I'm gonna answer one of my own questions from before. Fairly certain nothing like this exists in the Paris Underground. On we go. These iron gates are holding back a tide of skeletal remains. <laughs> Bottom shelves full, but the top shelves empty. Wonder if I can reserve some seats. I bet if you're rich enough, you can get yourself buried in the Paris catacombs. Now, here's another door. With a lock. It's something we can try with that key that we've already found. The question is... How am I getting to... This is where we were before! This is where we were before. This was one of the first things we saw when we came down here. But... That doesn't tell us how to get back up. I need to know how to get back up. And it doesn't look like I can do that without a key. Um... Or maybe... This is crazy, but how high can I jump? Maybe I can actually... platform up to here. Now... I can't really do the crouch jump trick where you crouch in midair. That might be a little infeasible. Uh, for a fleshy mortal like me, but I'll look around a little bit more, and then I'll consider that the way out. Worst case, I fall down and respawn. But our reconnaissance is paying off. Let's try jumping in this water. Maybe there's... I really, really don't like the idea of jumping into murky water in the world's deepest pit of corpses, but... If that's all there is to do. Is there anything here? There is. There's branching paths down here? Are you kidding? This is one of those levers like we saw on the other side of the room from the corpse. Well, I don't know what that did. I really don't know what that did. I'll just assume it opened something somewhere. Maybe it's... Ow. What just hurt me? Ah! Um... Okay, I'm dead. What about that key, then? Now, I think this is where that key was the first time around, but... It's not here now. So, does that mean that they maybe... that they maybe spawn randomly around the map? If so, that's gonna really set me back some. 
That's a huge problem for me. I definitely have not seen this before. God, how many serial killer torturers are living down here? Or maybe it's just the one. Okay. I was just trying to retread old ground looking for... Looking for keys, but... This might be a little bit more than I bargained for. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume that that's the trapdoor that leads to one of the rooms off of the, uh, the main chamber, so that doesn't really interest me all that much. I must say. This looks like one of those spaces I can access from the flooded area. I just need to keep heading back up. Now here we are from the other angle. Let's try dropping into the water and see what that route gives us once more. Have we been here before? Uh, I don't like being... I actually prefer being below the water if I'm able to see. Such a creepy place. I don't know what it is about water that amplifies the creepy factor so much. Where am I? Oh, everything's moving so fast underwater, I don't even have time to register where I'm going. Uh... This seems like it might be some kind of other trap. Oh, I was able to push you aside. This is this is that room where the water crashes down. This is where the sewer gets out. Okay. And it doesn't look like I want to go down any farther than this. But we have found one other piece of the puzzle at the very least. You have to crouch down so much to get through these things. Oh, one last place we haven't seen yet. Yes, this is the opposite side of that broken down doorway. Ah, oh, but what am I meant to be doing here? I don't... The issue with the keys is they're very difficult to spot. Because they're basically just 2D sprites, posing as a 3D model. So even if I do happen to pass by one, what are the odds I even notice it? Alright everyone, it sucks to do this, but I have spent a combined more than two hours searching for these keys. And I'm just fed up at this point, so I went on the workshop page to try and look for tips on maybe where to find them. And I found something even better, which is a series of console commands that will just spawn them in front of their respective doors. I really didn't want to do this, but honestly this is kind of all the time I'm willing to put into this, and I really don't want to leave without seeing everything this map has. And yeah, if this is what the keys look like, I can understand how I might not have seen them. Let's pick that up. What is this? What is this? Like someone's... Like someone's private study just down here in the catacombs and... Yeah, it looks like he decided this was a comfy spot to rest for good. Can I maybe start this? 
Oh, I can. <sighs> Scooch over. You know, I kind of get what you were up to. This place is nice. I got some other keys to try now, though. One thing of some concern, though. You are not the only bone boy down here. And there's an axe on that table. And I can't help but notice that this little study is actually right down the hall from the cannibal larder. Eh, maybe you didn't decide this was a comfortable spot. Maybe you just decided it was a safe spot. Huh. And you can actually turn on some lights. That's key number two. After much trouble actually picking it up. And this takes me to some place I've been before. Oh, that's a little bit of an anticlimax. All right, what do we think? Left first or right? You've got like a strange emerald box, so we'll do you last. All right, left it is. Come on. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of place to kneel and pray? I feel like there must be something I'm supposed to do here, but I couldn't tell you what it's meant to be. Maybe if I drop down into here? This looks like a pool that would fill with something, but... What is this place? Okay, well, that kind of raises more questions than it answers. Nothing left to do now but try the final key. This one seems a little more sinister, and bodies line the ceiling. There's two more of these pools, and yet another sealed door. I feel like there's got to be something I can do to open this. And whatever it is, whatever I have to put in these pools, it's probably the same thing that I have to put in the one in the other room. But what? I once again looked to the workshop page for advice. And what it told me was that you need to fill those pools with offerings which are made by processing corpses in here. And maybe that guy in the room down the hall was on to a little more than just serial killing. Anyway, I imagine that means that I have to find some of those full non-skeletal corpses and bring them back here to be thrown in, but that would be exceptionally difficult in VR. Uh, so I'm gonna do something a little bit cheaty and just spawn them in. Doom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Okay, first one. First one's going to the prayer room. Now, as this is a person who's given up their earthly body so that I can progress to maybe some 
otherworldly plane. Uh, I think we should treat this with all the respect it deserves. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's strange. Can I interact with this? Am, am I meant to to kneel? Uh, seriously, what do I do? I don't know what that did for me. Kobe! Can we still say that? I wonder if I can, like, cheat Hades out of a soul. Oh, come on. Well, I broke his thing. I... What is that? What is that? That is so weird looking. I can't tell if it actually has depth or if it's just some kind of looping texture. Well, we came all this way. This is not a direction I expected this video to go. I'm glad I stuck with it, though. Oh, sorry I'm not commentating. This is so fascinating. It really feels like some kind of strange, like, archaeology journey gone wrong. Oh, platforming in VR, my favorite. Oh my. This is going to require a titan of dexterity. I don't know how I'll ever be able to summon the agility necessary to get through this horrible trap. You look like something that should be mine. I mean, after all this, I deserve a little treat, right? Alright. Oh, it's just not gonna let me do it. Oh, well, what do I do here, then? Wait, nope, I can't pick you up. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. That was way less dramatic than I wanted. Okay, what do I what do I do with you? What do I do with you? Uh Klaatu. Nah, I'm not doing this bit. Let me just get out of here with my thing. Why does it feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing? One piece of evidence being that the sword just flew out of my hand. I'm sure it's nothing. Well, I got it. Now what? Oh. There's a place for me to put it. And some strange... H.R. Geiger creation made out of skulls and spinal cords. I still feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I did it. Brought you your thing back. Do I win? Hey, you mind if I do my outro here? Thanks, man. You're a pal.
So this was GM Catacombs, and wow, I feel like this was everything I've always wanted in an exploration map. What I like about this map is that it is dark, and it is cramped, and it is claustrophobic, and it is huge. It's a map that's not afraid to let you really get lost in it and force you to spend a lot of time with it. And in a way, you sort of feel like you start to get to know it. It's strange. You almost go insane in a way where you're like, oh yeah, that that flat wall that looks the same as every other flat wall? It's distinct. I couldn't describe to you how it's distinct, but I know where I am. And by that point, you'll be right. It's also built in such a way where the geometry itself tells a story. I'm not just talking about the different areas you can explore. Like, as you can see, there are things you can find that tell a story. But I really am talking about the geometry itself. How you can see these different eras of history that merge and overlap and crisscross each other. And then there's the newer elements that kind of interdict those things. You can find the bodies of explorers who came down to look at this stuff, and you can see how they got lost in the poses they're in, where you see just how they gave up and decided to have a drink or eat their last can of beans or... What, uh, the one that really stuck out to me was how at one point there's a gate, a locked metal gate, with a skeleton just kind of piled up in front of it, having given up. But just around the corner from there, there's another tunnel, a tunnel which looks just like all the other tunnels that he probably went down a hundred times before. This guy was only a few feet of walking away from finding a ladder that takes you up to the surface. But it's such a labyrinth that he would never know that. He would never know, after however many hours or days of walking, that he was so close to the surface. And it doesn't feel lame. This map actually earns it with how confusing it is, and how dark it is, and how dreadful it is. And that's how I would describe it. As you're wandering these tunnels, it builds such a dread. But on top of all of that, on top of the exploration that it encourages you to do, and it is some of the best exploration I've encountered on one of these maps, and on top of the atmosphere that it builds while you're doing that exploration, that makes you really feel lost and desperate, just as you might feel in the real Paris catacombs, there's also this element. The element of the locked rooms that allows you to really... If you really, you could just walk around and explore and get the atmosphere like I've done from so many other maps, and that would be enough. That alone would be enough just for how interestingly the place is built. But there's this element of the keys, of these hidden areas, of how it exposits so much through inference. Like, you know, how I've gotten the feeling that this guy was somebody who dedicated his life to trying to figure out what was behind those doors and in doing so, made his own space and his own home down here. And through it all, if you decide to really pay attention, if you decide to pursue those keys, you'll end up feeling like Indiana Jones. What other Gary's Mod map can say that? And I think, it, I think that feeling is amplified all the more by the fact that you don't have to do it. It's not the main focus of this map. It doesn't even tell you that you can do it. It's just, you see these locks. Maybe you'll come across some keys and decide to check them out. Try different keys and different locks, and eventually these doors will open. And it's just so... fascinating. And you have to be fascinated by it to find it. Otherwise, you can experience this whole map, feel like you got your whole... feel like you got a whole experience out of it. And yet that whole, that whole other adventure is just a part of this place. Thank you once again, Citizen001, the creator of this map, for recommending it to me. I really had a blast with this, and if you guys want to try it out for yourself, of course the link will be in the description as always. If you're watching this video on the day it goes up, I hope you have a happy Halloween filled with many spooky scary skeletons. 
And as always, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for even more creepy and comfy content. And wow, I think this room really... I think this room has got creepy and comfy down to a T. And as always, I will see you in the next video.